Bonjour, bonjour, le retour, le retour ici sur le plateau télé des Sound Days. Il fait beau et c'est génial, ça sent bon le sable chaud. Et là, ça va être une interview un peu bizarre, bizarre dans le sens où on va switcher dans une autre langue. Parce que monsieur à côté de moi ne parle pas français, il a beaucoup de chance. C'est une langue difficile à apprendre quand même, il ne sait pas en anglais. Et ce monsieur est le CEO d'une marque qui s'appelle Med. Et ce sont des casques extraordinaires que la plupart des journalistes adorent, que tout le monde adore, c'est génial. Et on a la chance d'avoir le bipède ici, donc je vais switcher maintenant en anglais. Bonne chance, ça va être soutenu. Hello sir, how are you? Hello, uh, great to be here for the first time in Paris. First time in your life? No. First time in Paris, first time in France. Oh my god. Although I did French in school for eight years. Yep. So I speak some French, but and I never came to France. speak some French and let me uh, talk petit, English. Petit, yeah. Because let's... you want me, you want to annoy me. I know you, I know you first. <laughs> Then you are the big boss in this company. Can you, yes, say yes. Uh, Yeah, in a yes, way. He is a big boss. Can <laughs> big you boss in a more? small company. You're gonna, you're gonna hang, hang this video. Yeah. People must know this one. This one is your masterpiece. Tell me all about your brand. Where do you come from, sir? Yes. So uh, my background is uh, industrial design, and um, I was developing different kind of product from sport to medical equipment to. In your own country, I mean, you are uh, around the world. I around worked world. in New York, LA, uh, Amsterdam, Prague, Bangkok, and. Uh, Delft. So I worked Whatever. many places, different kind of products, but uh, I, I always had a passion for art and music. So I always wanted to do something related to that. And at that time, in around seven years ago or something like that, I was into headphones. I was traveling a lot, so I always needed personal audio because mm -hmm. traveling every three months means you never had enough time to establish yourself, to have a nice stereo. So. So the headphones was my world. So at that time I realized that in the world of headphone, there is nothing that... Um, Be careful to what you say. Yeah. There's some professional here, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> There's very bad. good gear, very, very good, good gear. black yeah. plastic headphones. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> but, thank you for that. But uh, the issue was that um, I had a Fender guitar, a Stratocaster. I loved it, I still love it. Every time I look at it, it makes me want to play it, just looking at it, and I have a connection with it. And I realized that I would like to have something like that from headphones because headphones uh, you wear on your head uh, many hours per day. At that time I was using them uh, in the office, on the street, uh, who knows, six, seven, eight, nine hours per day. And uh, the headphones was just a simple black plastic shape which I couldn't connect emotionally. So I wanted to create a headphone which uh, through its design, material, quality of build would give me the same kind of uh, feeling like my Stratocaster uh, gave me. Uh, that feeling of um, intimacy and familiarity and uh, connection. Like a part of you, it's going to be a part of you. Exactly. Entirely. Personal. Personal. It's personal audio, so it should be personal. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So this was your first product. This uh, before this, I did a lot of experiments. Yep. Uh, some people know, some people don't. Uh, before this, this was launched 2015, but I started experimenting on headphones around five years earlier. But at that time, there was. Uh, I had no budget uh, for uh, starting a new product and I didn't really have the mindset to create a company. So I was just taking existing products, tweaking them, kind of like uh, car tuning, you know, unprofessional car tuning where you put a fender or a bumper or something, uh, change the sound, enlarge the cavity, play around, yeah. very basic stuff. But by doing that somehow, uh, some people liked even those products which were At, at this point, looking back, they were not great, but it it was where I learned. So, correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so after four or five years, uh, we released this because during this time I started designing and then uh, uh, slowly manufacturing this product, and uh, this took over two years. So to stop you, R and D, it's entirely yours. I mean, you work with companies around the world. Is it in your country the R and D uh, for this? For yeah, this yeah. One? This is only me. Uh, because my profession was product designer, so I was quite familiar with, designer, but with designing. Inside you got drivers, you got everything. I mean, everything uh, is built. Uh, it's I mean, built to spec. people to do that. Uh, there is, uh, uh, for headphones, a lot of uh, ways to use drivers. You can build it from scratch, but for that you need an entire lab, a facility, or you can take existing uh, structures and then adjust certain components. So you would do a custom membrane, a custom yeah, uh, coil. Yep. Uh, custom magnets and then you achieve in the end a unique product but it's not from ground up uh, 
built by you, okay. which is not re even realistic. I think very few companies build the drivers from the ground up, very few. Like, you could count them probably on one hand. Uh, most of them uh, do some kind of customizing of existing parts. Yeah, I, I understand. I under the process. Yeah. Under the process. Yeah. Then this product came. I mean, yeah. on the market, it was a huge su surprise for you. I mean, for the me success, too, yeah. It was just amazing, incredible. I was so shocked. I mean, by, by <laughs> that company. it was not that expensive. I was surprised by the price. I mean, the price was a computer. It was insane. Yeah, I'm not was a businessman. Was it a mistake man, from so you? I mean, so uh, more or less. I mean, it was crazy. Put yeah. that kind of quality at this price. This is why it yes. was such a success. Everybody always thinks it costs more, and, yeah, I, I and actually it should. But I didn't know how to set the price, and I I set the price as low as uh, I could. Then you are poor. Uh, yeah, let's just yeah, say yeah, we're not making a, a fortune of this, <laughs> but but uh, it helped build the brand. Yep. And because we're very. Um, our company is very uh, self-sufficient and we didn't ever take any investment. Uh, my goal was never to grow a business. I wanted to do headphone as a passion and then somehow it turned into a business very organically, very naturally. And this allowed me to do it as I wanted without any external pressure at the slow pace. And even the, let's say financially it's not exceptional, but in time it adds up and you can slowly develop more it's products. It's really your products, it's really personal, yeah. personal audio for your this product. One, you yes. get this one, you get another one after that. And now you've got a new one, a new product. I'm going to talk about it yeah. because I'm very, very interested. I'm very curious, I'm a journalist, you know. And uh, yeah. I've seen this one, it's totally different, it's a huge It's a gap big leap, yep. It's between a very that big kind leap. of thing and this one, this, I mean, can you yeah. tell me some of the technologies? Everything is so different. I mean, yes. can you explain there to me what you do that? There is a lot uh, going into this headphone. So, because I'm a product designer, my dream was always to create something uh, as original and uh, a as my way as possible. So, always when you design products, from my experience, you always have very clear limitations. You have deadlines, you have budgets, uh, you have all kinds of restrictions, you have a certain uh, style imposed by some marketing team that did some research. So oftentimes you will find big companies who have great resources that they will put products which are not as good as actually they could be because besides their development team which usually must be great there is also other factors the business department which always uh, limits you and that's the truth. You're in chain more or less and yes. with that kind of product but you do it your way I mean I understand from the beginning what kind of product is it is it the, the same kind of driver and this one it's I mean, very it's different okay. and we managed to do this product uh, because we found a very good uh, technical technology partner to collaborate with uh, the name of the uh, company is Rinaro they're actually uh, a Soviet era research institute from Ukraine they used to develop uh, planar drivers and uh, they still do can you explain this is planar because so People uh, must need to, to understand what is the difference between a, a driver as we know it. Yes, this is a, a oversized. Uh, this is an oversized model of the actual membrane that's inside this driver. It's actually an isodynamic driver, and this is inside here. It's called a hybrid array isodynamic driver. Uh, why we call it hybrid is because it's got two trace pattern areas. The top part is switchback. The lower part is uh, circular. It's a uh, spiral. And the top part is more efficient on, on uh, low frequencies, while this side is more efficient on the high frequencies. The reason we did this uh, is that, I'll open up the driver, your ear hole, your ear canal falls somewhere on the lower part, somewhere here. So what happens is that through this structure we manage to funnel in the high frequency sounds straight into the ear canal before they get to bounce around inside the ear cup cavity, which is like a small room. Uh, thus... Uh, is this is really magnetic, that kind of thing? I mean, it's like yes, a quality hero, it's magnetic? This, this is a ferromagnetic mesh and, and this attaches actually and you, to and the driver. To the driver? To the actual driver Does magnet. it have any effect when you put this here on the driver or no effect? It has actually, they work together. Yeah, so they work together, is what I wanted to Yes, it's a very original, actually there's a patent for this by Rinaro. And uh, the magnets themselves have a stray field, right? The magnetic arc, the magnetic field. Uh, usually when you put it on your head, that field basically is inside your head. But uh, this, this uh, mesh pushes it back. It pushes back the stray field into the driver and thus increasing the efficiency actually okay. of the driver. Every time you're doing it, okay, it's, yep. it's great. I mean, is the product is going to be available, I mean, at the end of the year, at what price? Uh, I mean, we're trying to make it available this summer. This summer? Yeah, uh, we're still having some very minor things to tweak. 
Yep. The design is frozen, it's pretty much uh, ready. It's going to be like that, I mean, definitely you're not going to change anything on the design. The color is, uh, uh, we cool. have a f maybe two, three colors we're thinking about. Yep. One is a dark, discreet one, uh, one is with copper color and one is silver like this because at many shows in Japan, in New York, people really, really love this uh, silver color. Uh, this one also highlights very well the aluminum uh, yep. parts because actually the there is yeah. 16 different components yeah. and they're all made uh, by CNC. This is a aluminum block and you can see uh, it's all machined. So every single component is individually machined one at a time. The whole process is very long but the result is a very very high precision frame. Uh, we call it the aluminum skeleton. It's very light and strong and uh, it has also a finish quality that you cannot achieve with other uh, methods. Uh, regarding, I mean, uh, the characteristic, I mean, technical parts, I mean, is it iOS compatible, 24-bit uh, and everything compatible uh, regarding this the, 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 because the range frequency? Uh, so first of all, wa about wireless, right? Yeah. Yes, it's not yep. built to be used wireless. Uh, it's, a, it's a high end full size yeah, headphone. I'm not talking so about wireless, I'm talking about the product by itself. I mean, is it, is it uh, iOS compatible? Uh, yes, it actually, is? the frequency range goes all the way from 10K up to 110. Yes. So that's crazy. For the, because for the bats, you know, for the bats in, the, in the case. Most uh, measurements devices cannot even measure that. Yep. But the reason uh, it goes that high is because the membrane of the driver itself. Uh, Besides the structure, it has a very special treatment that uh, is confidential. Uh, and this is the development of uh, Rinaro. They are doing this for 30 years, so they're very, very specialized and uh, have a very refined uh, approach towards uh, membranes for, for isodynamics. Uh, and the fact that it can go up to such a high frequency, it's proof that it can reproduce micro details with very good accuracy. What happens is when you have um, a strong signal right away followed or preceded by, the, by a very small signal, then the higher, the stronger signal would always drain out, uh, would swamp, let's say, the smaller signal. And uh, the fact that this goes so high in frequency proves that actually it can reproduce a stronger signal and next to it a, a very small I understand, power sir. signal at the same time. I understand. Then it's going to be, uh, I mean, at the end of summer, you got an idea, uh, any idea of the price of this product? I mean, any idea? Yes, I mean, uh, the scale. An idea. It three, will be four, five somewhere thousand. between three and four. Okay, uh, it's going to be. I mean, for you, for the guys. I mean, who are your fans all over the world? It's going to be a big shock. It's shock. a I very mean, big shock compared to the 99 gap, classic. I mean, from this one to this one. Do you have a, another? Uh, you know the headphone like this coming uh, uh, made more we affordable. Are, yes, we are I mean working. Uh, our plan is once we launch this is to create uh, different uh, yes. price points in between with different level of technology. Yep. Uh, the reason why we did this is it's because to prove that you can do it. To First prove of that all, we can do they it. They can do it. And here it is. And because it's interesting. So the reason I started this uh, whole headphone uh, development process from the beginning was because I thought it's interesting. So it was never with the business side in mind first. It was always because I thought it's interesting. So the day I will not find it interesting, I will stop doing it. Stop doing it. Yes, because uh, when you do it with passion, eventually somebody will like it and they will appreciate it. And, and if people see that it's uh, good and they appreciate it, somebody will buy it as well. So you don't have to be the biggest, the strongest in uh, market uh, share. but. If you do something special with a lot of passion, for sure some people will see it and it, it will sell somewhat. Okay. And we're happy with that. This is our business philosophy. It's, it's not great. about uh, scaling up huge, it's about mm -hmm. uh, doing what we like uh, uh, for many years to come. Let's okay, uh, I do wish you uh, the best of luck and the best of success for this product. And yeah, I mean, you're the one who's success has already done. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for, thank get, you. for getting to France and see France in the sunny uh, sunny day i yeah. wish you the best thank really you really the much. best i will be i will be staying close to you to watch your product and hear your products well yeah. thank I'm you i'm going to switch in french now voilà c'est la fin de, de cette petite de ce petit plateau télé avec ce monsieur extraordinaire présenté toute sa philosophie autour des casques Medze. on se retrouve avec un autre intervenant dans peu de temps qui est nura avec nuraphone et des trucs à dire également à bientôt sur le plateau ici télé des sandes thank you sir thank you thank again you. thank you bye 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 bye